Our guest in this second segment are Judy Lang and Marsha Stamas, daily supervisors at the Bridge Food Market. Welcome to the program. Thanks, yeah. John. Nice to be here. Marsha, how do you describe the Bridge Food Market? That's a good question. Thank you. Um, we started the Bridge Food Market to target families that uh, need some assistance uh, putting food on the table. And uh, they use the, the term food insecure. But it's a, it's a volunteer-run grocery store. Um, and we have all sorts of food from meats and um, dried goods and canned goods. And it's not a food giveaway. It, it, people purchase mm -hmm. food while they're there. And, uh, and then we have areas where they can um, spread their dollars uh, by a bonus section and by additional free food and uh, free bread um, and veggies. Well, who are the customers? Who are the customers of the bridge? We have people come in from surrounding areas, Millen County, several other counties around the area. We have people coming in from Saginaw. So we have local people and we like to target families that make less than 56000 per year. Mm -hmm. um, this includes single moms, uh, elderly, uh, uh, one income families mm -hmm. as well um, they can take advantage of shopping at the store and we don't ask for verification of that that's a, the most common question that we get is how do I prove that mm -hmm. I can shop here and it is on the honor system if, if you are making less than 56,000 and need some assistance putting food on the table you're more than welcome Very to shop welcome. There. Yes, yes. Yes. yes yes what are the hours of operation of that of the market we are open Tuesdays and Thursdays from noon till 6 and Saturdays from 10 to 2. And do you have any plans to increase the hours of operation? <laughs> you know, that, that does come up once in a while, but we are run by a volu volunteers. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as we would like to at this point, we are not able to extend the hours. So we're, we're going to stay with what we have at the moment. Uh, and the reason, because uh, being run by volunteers, you need volunteers. We do need volunteers, yes. yes. Good lead-in. Uh, Volunteer opportunities um, are, are great, uh, and we have different types of positions. You can do a cashier if you're over 18. You can greet people at the door. You can stock shelves, help people with their carts. It, it's not it's not hard. It's just time, you know, time commitment, mm -hmm. and we would love to have people um, come in and help out. And if someone's interested in volunteering, they can stop down and, and take a tour, see what it's all Absolutely, about. Absolutely, yes. Very open for that all the time when, every, of the hours that we're open, yes, definitely. Now you've been operating for more than a year now, and what are the changes that have been implemented, implemented in that time? First year <laughs> Lots of changes. Lots of changes. Lots of changes. We started out um, a year ago. We Our opening day was December 3rd. We had 50 products sitting mm -hmm. on pallets, <laughs> and uh, eventually we just sold off those off and continued to buy more. And now from 50, we are up over 800 products that we have in the store including uh, household goods, cleaning products, uh, paper products, dairy, meat. meats. We expanded into the meats, uh, pork, beef, chicken. Mm -hmm. So we've really expanded and the it's, selection. And it's all on shelves, so it looks like a grocery store <laughs> instead, instead of, of on pallets. Right. So yeah, it's, uh, it continues. People come in and they're like, oh, it's changed. You've changed things around. <laughs> and, and it does as we um, get new products. We need to kind of change things. So, so it's evolving all the time. All now, the time. how is the market funded? What's your source of funding? You know, we started it by doing fundraising up front. Um, we didn't want to uh, go into debt mm -hmm. to start it, and so we we did a fundraiser up front. So a lot of it is just by selling the products. We we don't mark it up just a couple cents to cover uh, the fees for credit cards. Mm -hmm. um, but we turn around and buy products um, back from the money that we sell the products with. Uh, but we also do take donations. Uh, it is funded by donations from the community uh, or individuals. And um, yeah. you, you accept uh, monetary, monetary donations, but you also accept food donations? Absolutely. We have a bonus section, like Marsha uh, talked about earlier. And the bonus section is based on um, for every $10 you spend, you get one item free on the bonus section up to four items so yes we all we are always in need of supplying that bonus section and it can be supplied with anything it can be non-perishable goods um, you know canned goods anything that um, you know can sit on those shelves and, and turn mm -hmm. around to, to give and that's it's really the name the bridge kind of confuses people sometimes a little bit um, with bridge cards but really it's bridging the gap mm -hmm. for 
um, what they make and, and what you need sometimes. And so that bonus section is really part of that bridging the gap is by giving those additional free items. Yes. Well, where can our viewers find more information about any of these things that we've discussed? Well, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> you can visit us at 1539 Washington Street, which is right behind Kmart. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can call us at 989-444-8000. We also have a Facebook page. If they want to do a search, it's The Bridge. And they can contact us at www.messiahondemand.com backslash The Bridge. Thank you, Judy and Marcia, for that update on The Bridge. Thank you very much.